this. I should help the guy. Never would have known how to Like to call the meeting to order. Let's do it here. Power. There it is. That was good. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the 2015 reorganization meeting of the Maplewood Township Committee and to, of course, wish everyone a healthy and happy 2014 New Year. 15. 2015. 15. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Sorry. And we, and we hope 14 was good. <laughs> 14 was good. With Pursuant Maplewood. to Section 5, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, this is a state for the record that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public by posting and maintaining the annual notice of regular meetings on the bulletin board, municipal building by the mailing, the annual notice of regular meetings for 2015 to the news record and store ledger in December 2014, and by filing said notice in the office of the township clerk. Whereas Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, commonly known as the Open Public Meetings Act, requires that all meetings of public bodies be open to the public, and whereas Section 7 provides that the governing body has the discretion to permit, prohibit, or regulate the act of participation of the public at any meeting, and whereas desire of this governing body to comply with the provision of this act, same time to conduct its business in an orderly and expeditious manner, now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Committee, Township Maplewood, does hereby prohibit, except to set forth in the formal agenda, act of participation in the deliberations of the governing body by the public, and except as otherwise prescribed by law, does limit the public to the observations of the governing body of all of its regular and special meetings. So moved. Second. Mr. Brownlee? Here. Mr. DeLuca? Here. Mrs. Larrier? Here. Ms. Leventhal? Here. Mr. Ryan? Here. Would the Maplewood Troop 5 Boy Scouts Color Guard please present the colors? <coughs> Would everyone please join me to, in the salute to our flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Fritzen, please take the roll call. Mr. Brownlee? Here. Mr. DeLuca? Here. Mrs. Larrier? Here. Ms. Leventhal? Here. Mr. Ryan? Here. I'd like to invite Julie Jin, accompanied by Art Gartenlaw, forward to sing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Spangled banner yet wave, or 
the land of the free and the home of the brave. I'd like to invite Reverend Dr. Earl D. Trent, Jr., Senior Pastor of Florida Avenue Baptist Church in Washington, D.C., to please come forward and provide an invocation. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious God, you in whom we live, move, and find our being. We pause on this day in gratitude. Gratitude for this new year and all that it holds and all the possibilities that it holds. We come in gratitude for this nation in which we live, the freedom that has been gifted to us. It comes with a cost and help us never to forget that cost. We come in gratitude for this township, for this reorganization meeting. We ask your presence your presence to bring wisdom, bring courage and strength, that those who have been elected, that those who will lead these people will be, have the strength and the fortitude so that peace and justice and a safe space will be their legacy, that we might enjoy it all, that we might glorify you in our works of love and friendship. We ask your presence and, great, and as a grateful people, in your holy name, amen. Maplewood Troop 5, Boy Scouts Color Guard, please post the colors. Thank you. Please be seated. It is a Maplewood tradition to dedicate each year's reorganization meeting to a group or organization. This year, the Township Committee has chosen to dedicate the meeting to Furry Hearts Rescue. And I'm going to ask the members of the Furry Hearts Rescue representatives to come meet me up here at the microphone and also ask uh, Mrs. Larrier to join me down there. Okay, so do you know what song you want to sing? <laughs> no, okay, all right. Dogs and cats and dogs and cats and no, no, no. Okay, so um, Mrs. Larrier uh, was given the task of working with um, the residents here, Furry Hart, so I asked her to join me, and what I'm going to do is ask her to read the three first whereas's and then I'll pick it up after that. How's that? Thank yes, thank you. <laughs> whereas the Township Committee was petitioned and presented information by residents who recognized the need for the initiation of a trap neuter release program for feral cats within the township and whereas these residents worked as a committee to draft an ordinance that would permit 
and regulate the operation of such a feral cat trap neuter release program. And the township committee subsequently passed this ordinance as a three-year pilot project. And whereas Furry Hearts Rescue was formed as a nonprofit volunteer organization dedicated to the welfare of feral cats and was subsequently designated as the sponsor organization designated by the township committee to develop operating procedures for the trap neuter release feral cat colonies and to organize, educate, and supervise volunteer caretakers of TNR feral cat colonies and whereas Ferry Heart Rescue took on the task with expertise and energy and also rallied the community to support these activities and has conducted fundraising activities to support the voluntary activities and whereas Ferry Hearts Rescue will be initiating training of caretakers supporting cat spay neutering programs and supervising the operation of TNR feral cat colonies and reporting these activities to the township during the year 2015. Now therefore be it resolved by the Maplewood Township Committee assembled this first day of January 2015 that thanks and sincere appreciation be extended to the Furry Hearts Rescue. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I uh, think I speak for all of us um, when I say that we're like unbelievably honored um, and thrilled. And we've been really excited to have so much support from our town, um, from the committee. I know there are some that we still need to work hard to um, uh, gain more of their support, but we're thrilled. We've got a lot of great work that we have planned for this future year. And we promise that you won't regret giving us this <laughs> um, come 2016. Thank you very much. Ms. Fritzen, please read the list of Maplewood citizens who are active in community life who passed away in 2014. Bridget Hobbs, retired registrar and employee in the Maplewood Police Records Bureau. Daniel Rosansky, retired firefighter in Maplewood Fire Department for 37 years, 1953 through 1990. Honorable Morris Mickey Stern, Maplewood Township Committee retired, Maplewood Planning Board retired, and Honorable Judge. Minnelly Corson, current employee, 40-year Maplewood Crossing Guard. Marcella Oglesby, domestic violence response team member. Peter N. Fresalone, chief financial officer, tax collector, retired for the Township of Maplewood. Charles H. Bibbins, Transportation Committee Volunteer, member of the Community Coalition on Race, Community Volunteer, Election Board Judge, recipient of Civic Association's Maple Leaf Award. Lorraine Bull, lifelong Maplewood resident, Maplewood Senior Citizen Club President, Duran Hedden House and Garden Treasurer, recipient of Civic Association's Maple Leaf Award. Joseph Newsom, Retired Maplewood Fire Captain in Maplewood Fire Department. Peter Schmidt, longtime Maplewood Recreation Department volunteer in youth sports. D. Bill L. Bleasley, former Essex County Freeholder for District 2. Ray Durkin, state leader. Westford J. Cosgrove, Maplewood Civic Association, Republican County Committee, and Maplewood Boy Scouts. Thank you. Would Rabbi Jesse Olitsky, Congregation Bethel, South Orange, please come forward for the memorial prayer.
Exalted, compassionate one, you who breathes life into this world, whose divine presence is felt in all we do and all that we are, as we mourn and remember those who left this world in the year that has passed, those who did so much, who dedicated so much of their lives towards the better men of the township of Maplewood, may they be granted perfect peace among all that is holy and pure in your sheltering presence. We remember them and all those who have gone to their eternal home. May their memory endure as inspiration for all of us as we strive to live lives full of deeds of love, goodness, charity, and justice, just as they have done, just as they have exemplified. May their souls be bound up in the bond of our lives, so as long as we live, they too shall live. For they are forever part of this community, forever part of this township, forever a part of each and every one of us. May their memories stay fresh in our minds. May their teachings be inspiration and guide us on our paths. And may their eternal presence shine light on the darkest of days. May their memories be for a blessing. May they rest in peace. Amen. I'd like to invite Dwight West, Maplewood resident, to come forward to sing. Trees of green, ah, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you, and I think to myself, Oh, yes, what a wonderful world! I see skies of blue. Clouds of white, the bright blessed days, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, oh yes, what a wonderful world. The color of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people walking by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, oh yes, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself. What a wonderful now the time in our meeting to administer the oath of office to the newly elected township committee members. May I ask Victor DeLuca to please uh, come forward to take the oath of office. About me? <laughs> Jerry Ryan told me I should keep going out that door. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for coming out. I want to thank the voters of Maplewood for giving me a sixth term on the Township Committee uh, to have received the support of uh, three of every four voters on Election Day was very gratifying and um, I appreciate the confidence that you have in me and will continue to work hard on behalf of the people of Maplewood. And I want to thank Janie, my wife, best friend and my biggest supporter. You came out of political retirement to campaign with me and be by my side and I want to thank you for all you did. To the Maplewood Democratic Party and our chair Ian Grodman and Vice Chair Garnett Hall, I thank you for your support. And to all of you who put up a lawn sign, sent in a contribution, knocked on doors or stood at the train station, labeled or stamped postcards or, and encouraged your friends and neighbors to vote for me, thanks for your assistance. I want to congratulate India Larrier on her re-election. I'm excited about working with India, Kathy, Jerry, and Marlin over the next year and know we will accomplish much. During the election, I said the fire to serve my community still burns inside me. My enthusiasm has not wavered a bit. I continue to believe in an active and forward-thinking government that engages citizens to find real and practical solutions to societal challenges. You know, I've never quoted Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell before, but I intend to do so now. Recently, he said there are two kinds of people in politics, those who want to make a point and those who want to make a difference. Now, you can be sure that the senator and I disagree on what that difference might be. But what we agree on is that getting something done is what an elected leader is elected to do. I approach my work with the goal of making Maplewood the best it can be, and I know that each one of us up here believes we can make a positive difference in people's lives. In 2015, I will focus on keeping our neighborhoods safe, controlling spending and taxes, promoting arts and culture, engaging in responsible economic development, and preserving our quality of life. I will also seek to increase affordable housing opportunities to current and future residents, and we'll make, we'll make a particular effort to assist homeless veterans. And I will continue to speak out on state and national issues that impact our community. The disparity in wealth is one of those issues. The December 23rd Star-Ledger headlines said it all. Income gap in New Jersey grows without a sign of ending. The Pew Research Center said the wealth gap is at its widest point in 30 years. And that gap is felt across the country and right here in our community. We must strive to increase economic opportunities for all and adopt economic safeguards like a higher minimum wage, paid family leave, paid sick days, and accessible and affordable health care. One concrete step that can be taken is for the state to restore cuts to the earned income tax credit for New Jersey's working poor. As a society, we have a responsibility to address the financial, housing, and health insecurity of American families, and I intend to be part of that debate. For the safety and security of our families, the spread of illegal guns in our region must be stopped. 
In Maplewood and surrounding municipalities, there have been an increase in incidences in which guns are used. Most of these guns are purchased illegally, often coming to the Northeast by way of the Iron Pipeline, a chain of southern states with weaker gun laws. I will work with mayors across the country to lobby Congress to enact sensible gun laws. Taking on the gun lobby is a job for which all of us should sign up. In her book, My Beloved World, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor writes, there are no bystanders, bystanders in this life. Our humanity makes us each part of something greater than ourselves. And so my heroes, she says, were never solitaries. My heroes were all embedded in community. And today we joyously celebrate community. And my time in public service has been personally rewarding, and I believe I've made a positive difference in our community. I invite you to get involved in the public arena, share your ideas, concerns, and suggestions, bring new thinking to the table. We may not always agree, but together we will make the best decisions to move Maplewood forward. My friends, I'm excited, energized, and ready to go. Thank you for giving me another opportunity to serve. I'd now ask Mrs. Lowry to please come forward and take the oath of office. We have food stuff. 
<laughs> I'm tall now. <laughs> Good afternoon and and happy new year. Before I start, I do have a lot of people to thank for making this day possible. For starters, my husband John. Thank you. Our three children, Sydney, Arendelle and Kendall, who graciously stood with me just now. Thank you for being there through the thin and the thick of it. To my extended family, thank you for coming. To my friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming and getting up so early this morning, those of you who did. <laughs> to the Maplewood Democratic Committee and its leadership, Ian and Garnett, thank you so very much for all of your support. To those who had a timely good word, thank you. And of course, to the Maplewood Township voters as a whole, thank you. I would congratulate Victor DeLuca on yet another, I believe this is your sixth term, on his sixth term on this township committee. Congratulations. Your leadership has truly been a great thing for this township. It's my privilege to serve with you and the other members of this committee, Ms. Leventhal, Mr. Brownlee, Mr. Ryan. It's actually hard for me to grasp that I've had the privilege to be on this committee serving these residents, all of them, for three years already. During this time, I've been honored to work on health issues, public safety issues, development issues, and much more. Even being doused with ice cold water <laughs> for a good cause at the request of Maplewood. As I have said over and over, this is a great and diverse community, and I am privileged to serve on its government and work to keep it the great place that it is. It has and will continue to be my pleasure to see the development that will happen here. I speak of the former PSENG and post office sites. Residents who move into those new buildings will be able to patronize Springfield Avenue shops and the Hilton Library, all within walking distance, bringing continued importance to that part of town. We're looking forward at the beginning of this year to the development of the post office site, which will add to the village district while increasing the important tax rateable for that property, something that will certainly help all of our residents. We will soon see a new CVS. And the Woodland, the former women's club, has become a regular location for events, both public and private. I look forward also to continuing work with my colleagues, Mr. DeLuca and Mr. Brownlee, as well as the capable Chief of Police, Chief Semino, and Fire Department Chief, Chief Dingelstedt, as we tackle public safety issues around town. We actually have enjoyed a decrease in crime overall, but as Mr. DeLuca did mention, we have seen an uptick in crimes involving firearms. As many of our neighbors in surrounding communities will also tell you, they have seen the same increase as well. We will be keeping a close eye on these activities and address them head on as we have in the last several years putting necessary resources in key places to keep all of our residents and their families safe. We will also continue to build diverse and culturally competent police and fire departments. We've seen events in our country lately that have both angered and saddened us. Our hearts and prayers have been with everyone involved in those events. 
However, we must never forget that constant and open communication is key to a good relationship between any community and its public safety personnel. We have seen great effort on this front from our departments here in Maplewood. And I would ask that you take a moment to join me as I applaud the work of our chiefs and the men and women of their department. While it may not be a municipal department itself, the Maplewood First Aid Squad has been an integral part of our public safety team, and I look forward to working with them as they continue in their rebuilding efforts. In the area of, of health, as the president of the Board of Health, I will continue to work with our health officer and his staff to improve our clinics, making them more reflective of the needs of our residents and to develop new services that are so necessary here. Residents of all ages, ethnicities, and walks of life are in need of services and information that will help them lead healthier lives. We will continue to promote the opportunities provided by the Affordable Care Act. We will continue vaccination clinics and other screening services. On another front, as you've heard, the new ordinance addressing the feral cat population on, in our township is the start of an exciting new journey, joined by volunteers from our own neighborhoods. Thank you, furry hearts. I look forward to working with them and others over the next three years as we pilot the trap neuter release program, start new programs, and address new issues. I thank those who have volunteered their time already to address issues with us, which brings me to my mantra. Those who know me <coughs> know what it is, and you've been expecting it. A community can only be as strong, as safe, or as good as its residents are willing to work to keep it that way. To that end, I encourage any and all in town to come, volunteer, and help make and keep Maplewood the wonderful place that it is. Your diverse backgrounds, beliefs, and opinions are needed, and I count it a privilege to work with all of you. We may not always agree, but as we respect and value our diverse opinions and abilities, we will work towards that one single goal, a Maplewood that we can all love and be proud of. Thank you. God bless this town, and may he bless all of you with a happy, safe, and healthy 2015. Members of the Township Committee, I now call for the nomination for Chair of the Township Committee for the year 2015. <coughs> I nominate Victor DeLuca. I second that nomination. Are there any other nominations for Chair of the Township Committee for the year 2015? I move the nominations be closed. I second the motion. Mr. Brownlee? Yes. Mr. DeLuca? Mrs. Larrier? Yes. Mrs. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. I declare Victor DeLuca duly elected chair of the Township Committee for the year 2015. I'm going to try this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. 
<laughs> okay. I take such grief. <laughs> oh, that is pretty good. Well, thank you. Um, and again, Happy New Year on behalf of the Township of Maplewood. I want to thank my colleagues for electing me as mayor for my 10th year. I've enjoyed working with all of you in a collegial and cooperative manner. And I'm proud of all that we've accomplished. And I look forward to another year of progress. And as to the current state of Maplewood, let me say that we had a very good year, are in great shape, and have an outstanding future ahead of us. In my first State of the Township address in 2001, I said Maplewood must remain as an active, attractive community with a sound housing stock and viable neighborhoods throughout. A town where a sense of community is strong and diversity and inclusivity are valued. So far, we've been successful. You all know about the stories about our community that are in numerous publications, Wall Street Journal, New York Times included. Those stories talk about new residents being welcomed with open arms, that we are an amazing community of people, and how everybody feels comfortable living here. The Maplewood brand remains as strong as ever, and our reputation throughout the state is very positive. The beauty of our community the diversity of our people, and the easy access to New York City keeps us as one of the most sought-out locations to live, work, and invest. Let's look at the home sales for the first 11 months of 2014. The average sales price was up more than 5% from 2013 to now $521,000. Homes sold above asking prices and the average number of days on the market fell to 44, down nearly 18% from 2013. The good news is home prices were up, and even better news, crime was down. We had a drop of 16.5% in major crimes in 2014. Every major crime category decreased, including robbery, assault, burglary, larceny, and auto theft and the crime clearance rate was up to 30 percent from 25. I want to thank Chief Robert Semino and all the members of the police force for their work in suppressing crime and keeping our families and property safe. A number of them are here today. Would you please stand? Now, last year, the Township Committee added some overtime, and we kept more police officers on the street. We also increased the budget to add two more uniform officers. We're now up to 62, and we've instituted a plan where we're keeping a cadet in the academy on a regular basis so that when vacancies occur, we'll be able to put that person right out on the street. Being a police officer is difficult. And President Obama has called for communities and law enforcement agencies to work more closely together to break down tensions and rebuild trust. Here in Maplewood, we've taken steps to strengthen the police department's capacity to positively impact, with, interact with all members of our community. We diversified our police force with more people of color and women, and we've instituted sensitivity training so our officers are culturally competent in dealing with a diverse population. Chief Semino met quarterly with neighborhood leaders through the, Na the Maplewood Community Action Program. The Youth Aid Bureau sponsored engagement activities, these really neat trailers with video games to engage our youth and develop lasting relationships. And I'm happy to announce the launch of the Clergy Alliance Program. And I want to thank the Chief for doing this. The Chief is going to meet throughout the year with religious leaders to receive feedback on community concerns and to discuss public safety matters. The first meeting of the Clergy Alliance is coming up and we're excited about its possibilities. <coughs> now I'm gonna age myself here and uh, like Karnak the Magnificent on... Um, 
Thank you, Bob. You're not only the photographer for the town, but you're the guy who knows everything here. April 2nd, June 5th, September 18th, October 17th, November 5th. Just random dates in 2014, but let me tell you about them. On April 2nd, the Maplewood Memorial Library wrapped up its centennial, centennial year with the first annual Maplewood Ideas Festival <clears throat> designed to celebrate the talent and creativity in our community. The week-long event attracted hundreds to hear from authors, journalists, artists, and filmmakers. This year's theme is Conversations and it includes internationally acclaimed architects, an Academy Award-winning costume designer, and Mark Morial, former New Orleans mayor who is now president of the National Urban League and a Maplewood resident. The Ideas Festival begins on March 18th, and don't miss it. And talking about ideas, on June 5th, the utterly bad idea to build a massive flood control dam in South Mountain Reservation was unanimously voted down by the Mayor's Council on the Rawway River Watershed, of which I am a member. <laughs> While I was lobbying other mayors on the inside, no dam advocates under the leadership of former Mayor Fred Perfetta were organizing opposition on the outside by gathering thousands of names on petitions and meeting with elected officials to press their case. Thank you very much, Fred. In the end, the Mayor's Council agreed to scratch the proposal and focus on a more environmentally and economically sustainable plan centered on the Orange Reservoir. This was a huge win for the reservation and for Maplewood. Unfortunately, another proposal was scratched on September 18th. That's when we learned the developers selected for the post office redevelopment project were withdrawing. Honestly, it was a shock. We thought we had and we were moving forward. But we picked up the pieces and we interviewed four additional developers and we're now working with JMF Properties to move the project forward. In February, the retail portion of the post office will move to a new, qu new quarters at 195 Maplewood Avenue. We've already established 20 minute parking in front to allow postal customers to come in and come and go. And by the spring, we expect JMF <coughs> to demolish the current post office building and start construction on a new building with 23 apartments and 9,000 square feet of retail space. And speaking of demolition, the township's purchase of the Women's Club two years ago saved this building for, youth, for use by the community. Now called the Woodland, the first major event was the October 17th rent party with over 200 people in attendance. Since then, there have been fundraisers, concerts, even a vaudeville act. There's been weddings and other events. We've made improvements to both the upstairs parlor and the first floor great hall. And we fixed up the parking lot, creating more parking for Maplewood Village shoppers. The Township Committee designated the building as a local historic site, and there's more to come in 2015, including what I hope will be a major contribution to the building from a local contractor. We received another contribution from a group of residents concerned about our failed approach to dealing with feral cats. And then you heard and earlier and, and through Mrs. Larrier's comments, on November 5th, we approved the trap, neuter, vaccinate and return program. You know, the idea started when two or three people came to our meeting and challenged us to do better. And to be honest, there was little support up here at the Township Committee to undertake a TNR program. But those two or three people, and then five or six people, and then 10 or 12 people, <laughs> kept coming and making their point. And today we have Furry Hearts Rescue, a very impressive volunteer organization leading up the effort. Thanks for your vision and your perseverance. You know, nearly 20 years ago we had another vision, changing Springfield Avenue for the better. It has been a challenging journey with ups and downs, excitement and disappointment. 
but we have not changed our belief in the importance of the Springfield Avenue area to the future of Maplewood. This year we paved the western portion of the avenue and it looks great. We will be installing new lighted crosswalk signs that pedestrians can activate with a push button. And next year we'll finish the paving job on the eastern portion. And speaking about the eastern end of the avenue, we are excited that Avalon Bay, a national real estate development company, will construct a 235 unit apartment building at the former public service gas facility at Boyden Avenue. Across the street, the Maplewood Diner is being renovated and plans are to open another eating facility there. And later this month, I hope to be able to announce a major retail development on the southern side of the avenue at the corner of Chancellor. Other economic development news, news includes the spring opening of the new CVS on Valley Street, a mixed retail and apartment building to be finished at the corner of Burnett and Springfield, and we all have our fingers crossed on that one and the planned opening of both mom and pop and national retail stores along Springfield Avenue. We also have big plans for Irvington Avenue. We've been working with a consortium of planners, Rutgers educators, and representatives from neighboring towns to rethink this important area on our northeastern border. One thing we plan to do is rebrand the district, calling it Maplewood Corners. You'll hear more about this in the upcoming months, and we invite your participation. One measure of the community's strength is how it comes together in times of crisis. In past years, weather-related events have tested our resolve. Last year, on a quiet Friday morning in May, we had another type of catastrophe in our downtown. A construction accident in the basement of a building trapped a worker, construction worker. Police officers were the first on the scene, using their bare hands to dig out the rubble, trying to free Guo Tai Chen. Firefighters took over the rescue job, but in the end, Mr. Chen's injuries were too severe, and he passed away. When word spread about the accident, merchants and residents offered to help. The Maplewood Village Alliance took the lead, and they collected $13,300 in contributions. These contributions paid for Mr. Chen's funeral and provided assistance to his wife and two children. Another $1,200 was collected to help tide over village employees displaced by the accident. I attended Mr. Chen's wake and can tell you his family was very appreciative of the Maplewood community's generosity. So much more happened in 2014. Up here at the Township Committee, we were busy voting on 25 ordinances and 240 resolutions. No wonder we get tired. <laughs> we also held the third wellness fair and the seventh Green Day Festival. We celebrated the 20th year of the operation of our farmer's market. We established two new special needs programs, Be Well and Thrive Exercise Group and a soccer clinic. We renovated the bathrooms at Maplewood Pool. And if you were ever at the bathrooms at the Maplewood Pool, you'll know why I'm making a big deal about it. <laughs> we upgraded Brook Path with new plannings and pedestrian lights. We expanded the Jitney service to, with a new fourth route. We installed traffic calming measures on 44th Street, Salter Place, and Burnett Street, and Valley Street. And we signed up people for the Affordable Health Care Act. You already know what our major challenge is in 2015. It's property taxes. Over the past four years, the Township Committee has worked hard to keep spending down and to limit tax increases. It's always a balance between the services our residents expect to receive and the tax bills they get to pay for those services. We will continue to make tough decisions on spending that is proposed and remain sensitive to the already high property tax burden on our residents. Our budget meetings begin on Saturday, January 10th. And in an effort to increase community input, this year we will be accepting email questions and comments about the budget via email in real time. So that's right, here's, here's how it's going to work. You can sit home in your pajamas on that Saturday morning you can watch the budget meetings live on TV, and you can shoot us an email with a question or a comment. 
we're trying to open this up and get more people engaged. So we're calling this the Stay at Home Civic Engagement Initiative. You don't even have to, as I said, change out of your pajamas. We're going to try this out and hopefully it will work. Because civic engagement is so critical to our community and making sure all people in our community are connected to civic life is an ongoing priority. We say all the time that we're one community and it is important no matter where you live in town that you feel respected and listened to. Last year we made a particular effort to reach the non-English speaking and foreign born populations in town and we'll continue to do that in 2015. Additionally, the Township Committee is expanding its monthly Talk to the Township Committee sessions. Well, this year we're going to be including Jacoby Street, Irvington Avenue, and DeHart Park. And these new sites will be in addition to Maplewood Village, Springfield Avenue, and the Recycling Center at Public Works. And yet, what we do here is we spend three hours on, oftentimes, a very cold Saturday morning of the month um, with a sidewalk table, sharing information, and hearing about concerns and questions. So we'll be doing it every month except August, so if, you, if, if, you're, if cold is not for you, you can come in one of the, the warmer months. But please stop by and say hello to us. You know, volunteerism has been a hallmark of life in Maplewood. We thank each of you for taking time from your personal lives to contribute to civil society. But there are national trends, though, to which we need to pay attention. According to a new report, Volunteering in Civic Life in America, in 2013, slightly more than 36% of American adults were involved in school, civic, recreation, religious, and other types of organizations. And that was a drop of 3% compared to 2011. And this is not a healthy direction that we see for our society. So what we're going to do is redouble our efforts, and we're going to work to recruit and nurture new volunteers who can help shape and influence the community in which their families live, and we invite you to join us in that recruitment effort. So all the work that I've talked about needs a team, and we have a great one. And we get leadership from Township Administrator Joseph Manning, who could not be here today, but we want to thank him, and let's thank him for all his work. And I also want to thank Cesar Carrera, his assistant administrator, Elizabeth Fritzen, our township clerk, and Roger Desiderio, our township attorney. They are our go-to people, and they make the township committee's work all the more productive. Thank you. And we welcome two new department heads, our chief financial officer, Juan Uribe, and Public Works Director Calvin Bell. Will you stand and be recognized? <laughs> and we have a slew of other department heads here and other township employees. And in this town, your work is respected. I don't know about in Trenton, but here in Maplewood, we thank you for everything you do. You do a terrific job in serving the people of Maplewood. And would you all please stand? All the employees. Come on, John. So, so much has gone on, and so much is to come. And I'm excited about the future of Maplewood, and I hope you are too. Thank you very much, and Happy New Year. Okay, members of the Township Committee, I now call for the nomination of Deputy Chair for the Township Committee for the year 2015. Mr. Mayor, I nominate Kathleen M. Leventhal. I second the nomination of Kathleen M. Leventhal. I move the nominations be closed. I second the motion. Please call the roll. Mr. Brownlee? Yes. Mrs. Larrier? Yes. Mrs. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And let me take a moment to uh, recognize some former elected officials here. Uh, I mentioned Fred Perfetta, our former mayor. Yeah. 
Noel Siegel, former vice mayor. And Ian Grodman, former vice mayor. And also, uh, we just want to recognize our two representatives in the New Jersey State Assembly, John McKeon and Myla Jacy. Would you give us a... I know you're running around. We want to thank you for stopping by. Um, if you want to say something, come on up here. Just say hello. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank uh, two Maplewood residents who were great in their performance today. Julie Jin, who sang the Star Spangled Banner. And Dwight West, my basketball buddy, who sang the memorial hymn. And Art Gartenlaub, we want to thank you for being there all the time with us, playing the piano. Thank you very much. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Trent, thanks for coming up from D.C. And Rabbi Olitsky, thank you very much. Uh, the rabbi is... I'm, I met the rabbi a few weeks ago at his uh, installation, um, and he's new here, and he wants to get involved in the community, and that's just a great thing we want to hear. So thank you. We'll be in touch. Okay. We now have a resolution 1-15. Mayor, uh, resolution 1-15, adopting the bylaws of the Township of Maplewood. Chair, sure, I move for the adoption of this resolution. Second. Who's called the roll? Mr. Brownlee. Yes. Mr. Larrier. Yes. Mr. Leventhal. Yes. Mr. Ryan. Yes. Mayor DeLuca. Yes. Thank you. I'd like to read the following appointments. Township Administrator Joseph F. Manning. Assistant Township Administrator Cesar R. Carrera, Jr. Township Attorney Roger Desiderio. Chief Financial Officer Juan Uribe. Chief Certified Tax Collector Juan Uribe. Public Defender John Kaufman. Court Administrator Ryan Bancroft. Registrar of Vital Statistics, Sonia Harrison. Deputy Registrar, Registrar of Vital Statistics, Elizabeth Fritzen. Director of Recreation and Cultural Affairs, Keith Knudsen. Tax Searcher, Juan Uribe. Keep searching for those taxes, Juan. <laughs> Wherever you can find them, keep searching for them. Custodian of Township Records, Elizabeth Fritzen. Deputy Custodian of Township Records, Chief Robert J. Semino. Deputy Custodian of Township Records, Chief Michael Dingelstadt. Certifying Agent, Pension Fund, Juan Uribe. Fire Official, <coughs> Deputy Chief Carl Kling. American Disability Act Coordinator, Robert J. Mittemeyer. Township Engineer, Tom Melavesi. Health Officer, Robert Rowe. Board of Health, Victor DeLuca, India Larrier. Office of Emergency Management, Deputy Coordinator Robert J. Semino, Office of Emergency Management, Deputy Coordinator Chief Michael Dingelstadt, Director of Public Works Calvin Bell, Qualified Purchasing Agent Joseph Manning. Is there a motion to confirm the appointments? So moved. Second. Please call the roll. <laughs> Mr. Brownlee? Yes. Mrs. Larrier? Yes. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Mayor DeLuca. Yes. Members of the Township Committee, I now call for nominations for the Township of Maplewood representative to the joint meeting of Essex and Union Counties for the year 2015. I nominate Kathleen Leventhal. Second. I move the nominations be closed. Second the motion. Please call the roll. Brownlee. Yes. Mrs. Larrier. Yes. Leventhal. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Mayor DeLuca. Yes. I declare Kathleen M. Leventhal, duly elected Maplewood representative to the joint meeting of Essex and Union Counties for the year 2015. Congratulations again. I know. <laughs> yeah.
Mayor, I skipped uh, number two. Yeah, so I was confused. Item 23. Oh, resolution 2-15. Appointing Municipal Prosecutor Annette De Palma and Assistant Municipal Prosecutor Cheryl Toller. Mr. Bradley, are you moving that resolution? I move that resolution. I'll second that resolution. Please call Mr. The roll. Brownlee? Yes. Mr. Larrier? Yes. Mr. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. We're on track now? We're back. Okay. Number five. Members of the Township Committee is necessary at this time to elect three members, three members and one alternate of the Township Committee to represent the Township on this Board of School Estimate for the School District of South Orange and Maplewood in accordance with Chapter 232 of the Laws of 1953. I now call for nominations of the Board of School Estimate for the year 2015. Mayor, I nominate yourself, Mayor DeLuca, Kathleen Leventhal, Marlon K. Brownlee to represent the Township on the Board of School Estimate with Committee person Gerard, Gerard Ryan as the alternate. I second that motion. I move that the nominations be closed. Second that motion. Please call the roll. Mr. Brownlee? Yes. Mrs. Larrier? Yes. Ms. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. I declare Victor DeLuca, Kathleen Leventhal, Marlon Brownlee, Ger Gerard Ryan as the alternate, the duly elected members of the Board of School Estimate for the year 2015. We got a motion on the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Mr. Branley? Yes. Mrs. Larrier? Yes. Ms. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. Uh, this is an invitation to address the committee. Is there anyone here who would like to uh, come up and address the committee? Please just give your name and address. And pull the mic down. This is Marvin height. Um, <laughs> Michelle Barbara, League of Women Voters of Maplewood South Orange. I would like to inform you that this is a very exciting year. This is the, 20, the 95th anniversary of the League of Women Voters of New Jersey and the United States, as well as Maplewood South Orange. I am so pleased to be part of, have been part of the League of Women Voters, not for its entire 95 years, but it seems like close to it. The mission of the League is to, uh, it, we are nonpartisan, although political. We encourage active and informed participation in government. We work to increase understanding of major public policy issues and influence public policy through education and advocacy, which we have been doing low these many years. Um, some of the things that we do to encourage voters is participation, uh, uh, we have voter registration drives, especially one at Columbia High School. We have had several throughout the year in our local communities. One of the things that people really like about us is that when there are ballot issues on the question, we explain them, what they mean, and reasons to vote for or against, so that there is participation in the ballot questions as well. We hold candidates forums, and we will see you later this year for another candidates forum um, for township committee in uh, election in November. Uh, we have we are a grassroots organization. Decisions are made from the bottom and passed up, so we invite you all to be part of that process. Please join us, support us for open and good government here in Maplewood and across the country, working to reverse the decline in voter participation, although I know the people who are here are really active in the process. Um, we would like you to be able to join us to fulfill our mission and to add your voice for here and in the country working together. Thank you very much and thank you all for all you do. You certainly have stepped up to the plate and are great volunteers and great role models. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to address the Township Committee? Hi. Hi, I'm John Kaufman. Um, I'm, I really don't like to have to come up here because um, the truth is, although some people won't believe it, I'm really quite shy. But um, the fact is that uh, on the 4th of July, we will 
have a, 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 an art installation <clears throat> somewhat like we had last year. And enough people have asked me uh, what we were thinking of doing, so I want to just give you just a quick rundown of the images that we might hope to reproduce somewhat like we did last year with the flag. So one idea is a soaring eagle, uh, the, the ride of Paul Revere, Washington crossing the Delaware, and, and one that I kind of am partial to, and that would be the launch of some, some, something like the space shuttle. So that's, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much. And I gotta also say one other thing. Some other, some, and I'll be quick. These, these guys have the demeanor to be volunteers the way they are. I, I sometimes wish I had that demeanor and temperament. I don't. Um, so I get to do volunteer work such as lead art projects, and I'm very grateful to the town and the, to this community to help me do that. Thank you. Building Lindquist from 465 Ridgewood Road, and I think it needs to be said at a meeting like this, and I haven't done before, is as a frequent user of the fire department's uh, medical, emergency medical services, I think they need to be recognized for the excellent service that they provide us. It's exceptional. Also, the first volunteer first aid squad, and although I don't use the services of the police department as often as I do the fire department, I know that from my um, attendance of various meetings in town, the cooperation that we do get from that department is also exemplary. And in that regard, we live in a very fortunate community, and I wish, wish to publicly thank them all. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing no one, we'll close the public comment session. And I'm going to ask you all to stand, and we're going to invite Ms. Kendall Larrier, daughter of Township Committee Woman India R. Larrier, to come forward and lead us in God Bless America. And if you'd stand right here in the middle. And please join in. Ask the Reverend Dr. Earl D. Trent Jr. if you would please come forward to give the benediction. Let us pray. Now, O oh God, we prepare to leave this place. Please, not your presence. We go into the year of 2015. We ask your final blessing upon this leadership upon these people, upon this township, this community. May your grace, may your peace, may your trust and your love 
rest will and abide with each of us as we go forward to serve, to love one another, to make this a better place, to make a difference in the lives of men, women, boys, and girls. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Will the Maplewood Troop 5 Boy Scouts Color Guard please retire the colors? Well, thank you everyone for coming out today. This meeting is adjourned and the Township Committee will meet again on Tuesday, January 6th at 7, 2015 at 7.30 p.m. We do have uh, sandwiches and drinks um, in the lobby, so please stick around and uh, join us. Thank you very much. New Year.